All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Tony Shen. I'm back with another FL Studio stock plugin tutorial. If you're new to this channel, this is basically a series where I make beats only using FL Studio stock plugins or other easily accessible sounds. It's um really easy for beginners to follow along with. I do everything step by step, starting from the beginning to the end, everything from scratch. Today, we're gonna make a push IC type beat. We're gonna go to the south. We're gonna get that you know, energy, that, that push the energy type beat. Super excited. Let's get straight to it. All right. So like I said, we're going to make a push icy type beat. Now, you know, with push icy, you know, with artists from the South, they got that particular type of energy that like trapped like South energy, you know, just, just that type of energy, you know? So how are we going to get that energy? Man, that is a good question. First, we're going to pull up a piano. So I'm um, just going to open up flex here. And um, I already selected the sound just because, you know, I went ahead and did my homework. But all you have to do is um, go to tags and then hit piano. And then you're going to have a list of all these piano sounds that you can choose from. So we're going to go with the stage piano just because I like that dark type t sound. Which is perfect for this type of um, melody. So boom, 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 boom. I think 130 is honestly a pretty good tempo. I maybe jack it up to like 142, just a little bit, but around that tempo is like, this is good. You know, it doesn't have to be the perfectly same tempo that I'm doing, right? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that was hard. Just that type of like menacing, you know, like that dark, like that type melody, you know? Yeah, and just add another low notes just to complement it, just to add some darkness to the melody. Yeah. I'm next. I'm just gonna add some effects to this um, piano just to mix it a little bit. Um, so just link it to the mixer, Command L or Control L if you're on Windows. First thing I'm gonna do is add some add a parametric EQ two and then take out some of the higher ends just because I want. I want this sound to, I want this um piano to sound darker. You hear how when I muffle and just take out some of like the mids and the trebles and uh, the high ends, it's it sounds a little darker. Next thing I want to do is um do this filter thing and then just cut out the low ends because I won't I'm gonna add a bass later and I want I don't want the piano to interfere with the bass. Yep, and just turn it down a little bit. And just add a little bit of reverb just to give that environment. Just to make it sound a little more wet, you know? Perfect. Okay, now let's go to our bells. So next I'm gonna add um, a tubular bell just because I feel like I'm um, hearing a lot in you know southern music and, and just like that dark like trap vibe, you know? So um, the bell that I chose, um, same thing I did with the piano. I just uh, went to tags, clicked on bells, and then I found this tubular bells. Sounds 
kind of churchy, right? Sounds kind of out of tune. Sounds a little bit detuned. Let's look for the other. Yeah, I like the sound actually. Because the other one sounds a little too detuned. So it kind of sounds off putting with the melody together. But this sounds pretty good. Same thing. I'm just going to highlight this and then Control L or Command L if you're on Windows or Mac or something. I don't know. It's either Control or Command. Same thing with this, we're going to EQ it a little bit. This time, I'm going to take out some of the mids from this side, just because I don't want it to in, uh, interfere with the with the piano, right? It's just so we have less frequency clash. I'm going to take out some of the trebles because it sounds a little too bright right now and then. That sounds pretty dark. Let me turn down a little bit. Perfect, now let's work on the drums. Now with the drums, I got you guys with my free drum kit, Tony Shen Slap Pack, volume one through three. It's all in the link in the description, free for you guys to download. All you have to do is click this link and then oh, you'll be able to download all three of my drum kits for free. So there's that, um, let's go into the clap. Swoop, clap. Up next, let's add the close hats. Now, if you listen to like Memphis music and like just Southern music, you know the hi hats are like super loud and obnoxious and got that energy, you know? Add a snare. That, that bounce, you know? Up next, let's add the kicks. The local kick is perfect for this occasion. Perfect. So the thing with Memphis and like just southern music is like the, 
the uh, the bounce kind of really matters, right? Like the bounce, like the coordination of the kick with the clap and the snare. It takes some getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. Like, but with practice, the more you know, you try. It's it's a lot of just trial and error, right? Like this works, this doesn't. That's hard. Ooh, last step is the 808. This is a hard 808. This, this is called the Nemo 808. Um, first, let's just find an idea of the bounce. So I'm just gonna fill in the the rhythm on the step sequencer, and then we're gonna worry about you know pitching it correctly. But first, let's just um, first let's just get the bounce, the rhythm. So I'm just gonna fill in some of these kicks and just get an idea of like the bounce by just judging by where I place the kicks. But you don't have to fill in all the kicks because otherwise the, the bass is going to get too chaotic, you know. We got the bounce ready. Next, let's prep the 808, right? Because I just want to make sure a few things are set before we go into making the melody. First is tuning, right? You want to make sure your 808's tuned to the right root note. So all you have to do to tune your 808 is to uh, hit Command E, which opens up the Edison editor, and then hit the flag button, detect pitch regions. Um, now, I know that this 808 sounds best when it's tuned to a C. Um, even though it says an E here, there's a little bit of a slide, but I know it sounds really good when it's tuned to C. So in this case, I know it sounds good set to C, so I'm just going to right click on C and leave it at C and it's tuned to the right root note. So we have that set, tuned to the right root note. Second step is to kind of create an envelope. Otherwise, um, if you didn't have this envelope activated, the notes are just going to leak into one each other. And um, this is going to sound kind of muddy, right? So I like having this envelope so it just has more control over like the length of your 808. Perfect. Now let's go here, go into the piano roll and just first just hit control L or command L and that will extend all the notes. Now you have the notes at their full note length. Next step, super easy. Just literally follow the root note. So just having all these done on one pattern on FL Studio, the good part is you can literally just see which notes you've played in your previous melodies and then set them accordingly so uh, control up or control down to shift up and down or command up <laughs> So that's all the drums and that's all the sounds we're gonna need for this beat. Um, it sounds really good the way it is already. We just have to arrange it accordingly and everything will be perfect. So it's just Control Shift L, link all these to the mixer. I might wanna turn the hi-hat down just a little bit. And turn the 808 down just a little bit because I want it to sit below the kick. Perfect, now let's just arrange it. So just click it here, right click here, split by channel, and then you can just delete this. Um, but then just control shift, highlight all of these. Boom, that was faster. <laughs> and let's just arrange it. Um, you can arrange it however you want, you know, just make it kind of easy to tell between hooks and um, verses and stuff like that. But other than that, arrangement is all up to you, man. 
It's all up to you and the artist you're working with. having a variation you know and that's the whole beat so <clears throat> that's it i mean it's a pretty simple beat i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um if you learned something from it please hit the subscribe button it really means a lot to me seeing this channel grow and everything i know i haven't been uploading as consistently that's because I just had a lot of other things going on in my life, um, working on a lot of other musical projects and more just creative type works instead of just tutorials and stuff. But um, I'll upload all of that stuff onto this channel in addition to um, new brands that I'm creating. So I'm still you know, actively doing music and I'm also setting up a studio in LA. So we're gonna have some pretty nice video scenes and just my tutorial videos are just gonna be shot from there from now on. So with that being said, um, I'm going to preview the beat for you guys, and thank you guys so much for tuning in.